Well, how'd you feel about uh, your afternoon? I felt good. We got the win and uh, um, need to win today, and it was a uh, you know it was, it was a good day. Are you cognizant of how many strikeouts you have during the course of the game? Do, do you look up at the end of the day and take any stock in those? What do those mean to you? I mean, yeah, you take stock in them. It's, it's nice, um, cognizant of it, you know. Uh, um, and you're, you're aware of what's going on in the game, you know. I, I, not like you keep track or anything, but like you know that you're striking guys out and you're keeping that in mind the next time you face them and whatnot. And uh, but yeah, I believe it was the fifth inning got yourself in a little trouble. You had to face Moncada and Abreu, able to get those guys out. How big and how key was that for you there in that that, that stretch of the game? Oh, uh, it's big. A two-one game at the time, and uh, got to keep the score there. And um, you know, it's uh, it's big. Well, this whole stretch, even you know, even when you get some some rough luck, yeah. How how good does it feel just to finally get the W, and get a win after all that time? Was that weighing on you at all? I mean, your team. Uh, it wasn't weighing on me, but it's nice. To, it's nice to win. It's nice to win. It's nice to high five after uh, after a start and whatnot. Yeah. Um, the fastball was 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 working. Were you conscious of them taking that a lot? And maybe more toward your slide? Yeah. Um. You know, it's just kind of you watch their takes and watch how they're approaching the game and. Um, you know, they establish it, and uh, uh, you know, you go with what uh, they're they're kind of giving you. You know, they're, you have a game plan, but then they'll tell you a lot by what they're trying to look for and what their swings and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we, we we stuck with the heater today um, a little more, and uh, granted, it, it was some things to learn from that. You know, probably later on in the game, maybe um, uh, go to go to a different, uh, you know, maybe mix it up a little more, but. Um, I mean, had chances to put them away. Maybe sometimes, if you criticize it, maybe even a little earlier. But it was, it was, it was a good day. Hicksy called a great game. With the way the ball flies here, are you able to shrug off a home run or two easier than you would in, in another circumstance? I mean, you got to shrug it off in any circumstance, right? You just go out there and attack one pitch at a time, and uh, um, you know, that's just you, you got to shrug off a home run the same way you shrug off a single, same way you shrug off a strikeout. You know, you just attack one pitch at a time and know that. You do everything you can on that pitch, and then what you expect yourself, and that's that's attacking. And then after that, understand, okay, is there something I could have done a little better? Is that how I did I do everything I could? And you know, good or bad result, and then you move on to the next pitch. I know Miggy gave you that pep talk this morning. How motivational was that today? Miggy pep talks me every day, so uh, <laughs> every single day I'm fortunate enough to get talked to by Miggy, and uh, and uh, he always gets me going. They, uh, they threw a stat out there that you're the first player in the live ball era to get 13 strikeouts, no walks, in less than six innings. So, really? <laughs> so got That's that interesting. Well, well, hopefully I'll, it's the last time I do that, and I'll, I'll be getting 13 strikeouts, no walks, and uh, after seven, eight, or nine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Okay.